Welcome to Virtualize Everything, where we strive to educate and inform the viewer about virtualization and virtualization technology. Today's video is on using SCP to gather files from our server. Now, we're using our open VPN server that we set up with a previous video, and again, are moving the test.ovpn file to our client system. So the first thing we need to do is browse to our container that we created and click console. Once you've clicked console, you'll get a screen that appears something like this. It most likely will ask you to log in. Once you've logged in, this is what you'll see. So now, if we were to run ls, you'll see the file that we want is placed in the root directory. We are going to need to move that file for no other reason than I can't use the root user to secure copy paste the file as I do not want to unlock that privilege for the root user of SSH. So I've created another user account called VE. VE is going to be the user account that we're going to use secure copy paste or SSH with in this terminal. But I don't want to allow VE to have complete privileges over the root directory. So instead of giving it privileges, I am just going to remove the test.ovpn file to a directory that VE has privileges over. In order to do that, I'm going to run the cp command and I'm going to give a space test.ovpn and a space and where I'd like it to go, which is going to be home ve. Press enter and it goes there. So now if I ran an ls on our home ve file, you can see that it is there. Now I'm sorry if this is somewhat repetitive and basic to you. I want to make sure that this is available for people that may not understand that. Now, let's move on to using SCP on our Windows system. So the first thing we're going to want to do is press Windows key and S to bring up the search function and enter CMD. This will bring up your command prompt and in my case, let's just browse back to C by using cd dot dot. This isn't essential, but it does just make for a cleaner command. Now, you have to have something already installed in order to use SCP on your Windows machine, but you most likely will already have it installed if you've been using SSH in the past. The program you need is PuTTY. I'm not going to show you how to get PuTTY. I think you can figure that out for yourself. Now PuTTY automatically installs PSCP on your system as part of its installation process, but you do need to use it from your command line. So now the command to actually grab this test OVPN file from our server or any other file from our server is going to be pscp space dash scp and then it's going to be identical to that of a standard scp command on a mac or linux system ve at ip address of the server which if you don't already know it browsing back to the console window of your server you can enter the command ip address and you'll find your IP address right here. Here's the IP address already entered over here. Now we're going to place a colon and the path to the file that we'd like to achieve which is going to be home ve test dot ovpn. Now Windows is a little bit different than our Mac and our Linux file structures, which are very similar. We're going to place a space C colon 
colon, backslash, and then it's your username, desktop, and then I want to place it in the VE folder that you see created above. So VE. Now when we press enter, if it's your first time using it, you're going to be asked if you want to save the server ID in your system. You want to press Y for yes. In my case, I've already done that, so it just prompts me for the password. Enter the password for the server that you're working with and the user account on that server that you're working with and press enter. You see the file has downloaded and you can even see the file appear here in the VE folder. Now when we enter VE and I drag it back from my second desktop, you can see that the test OVPN file has indeed been copied. One last time because I didn't show you the folder empty before, I will delete this Here's the folder empty, up arrow, enter, password, and there's the file. So it's simple to use SCB in all operating systems to move files like this OpenVPN configuration file that we've been working with to your client operating system so that you can work with it. In our case, this file could be used for creating a VPN tunnel from this system to a server if we were going to work with this computer remotely or if we wanted to distribute it to other devices for them to work with our network remotely. I hope you enjoyed tonight's video on SCP. Using configuration files and moving files around between servers is something that we need to do in our home labs and on systems that we administrate and it is a good technique to know how to use as we're positioning ourselves for the basic entry to medium level experience user and we're also wanting to provide home lab content, our bread and butter, for everyone. We thought it would be great to teach you how to use SCP to move those files around so you're not having to use systems like Samba or anything else which requires daemons to be installed on your server. Please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing to Virtualize Everything to help us bring more content like this to our viewers and YouTube viewers in general so that they can all learn about home labs, virtualization, and virtualization technology. As always, have a good night.